Welcome back to the Grambler State Dynasty on NCAA Football 14, guys. It's been a minute, but what a run we had. We're coming off our fifth national championship in a row in a nail biter against our biggest rival, probably in this dynasty, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Coach Broderick Fobbs led this team to a 112 and 7 record over nine seasons, a 7 and 2 bowl record. A staggering 54-3 against teams in the top 25. Five national championships in a row. And he shattered every coach record in college football. None more impressive than the 80-game win streak this team is on right now. So we left off at the end of Season 9, so let's jump into the offseason. And we have some players leaving early. Redshirt junior corner Chad Sheldon and second-string QB Bobby Harrison. Both complete shock to me man but they joined a pretty impressive class leaving gsu you've got wide out antonio walker defensive tackle mike anderson corners eric rogers and ken johnson wide receiver mike harper offensive lineman joe clayton and outside linebacker ashton hall and the best part about this group leaving each player was drafted we had four players go in the first round three in the second round and then two in the third this was another special class at GSU. These young men did not lose a game, and they won four national championships. Best of luck to them in the future. So we jump ahead to recruiting. This class was already star-studded, but we wanted to add two more players. We got defensive end Joshua Scott and tackle Lawrence Andrews. So we put all our points into them, and welcome to the brotherhood. With the addition of those two five-star prospects, Grambling State walks away with the number one recruiting class in the country. Here's a breakdown. Three five-stars, nine four-stars, and 11 three-stars, giving us a total of 23 recruits on campus. And even though the team lost a lot of talent, there's still stars on this team. We have five 99 overall players led by QB Cody Walker, corner Andrew Benson, Safety Travis Haley, guard Nick Walton, and star running back Pierre Jackson. So I decided to send the next few seasons just to take a look and see what the team will look like. And bruh, after what would have been season 10, the Tigers finished undefeated. Again, 11-0, number one in the country, and their sixth straight national championship run. So we're in the national championship, and we take on second-ranked Army, and it wasn't even close. 52-14. to 14. Talk about a blowout. But that's six national championships in a row. So we jump to the season 10 offseason, and this might be the most impressive draft class in college football history. We see that four players are declaring early, running back Elton O'Connor, Corner Carlos Parker, D tackle Mark Walker, and guard John Pennington. But look at the rest of the class. Tight end Tim Clark, safety Antoine Nugent, D end Dan Bird, D tackle Anthony Davis, QB Cody Walker, corner Andrew Benson, corner Aaron Wilkinson, safety Travis Haley, guard Nick Walton, D end Marcus Jones, running back Pierre Jackson, safety Craig Manning, Kicker Ryan Davis. We got our fullback Oscar Hawkins. Left tackle Jared Lee. In all, 11 first round picks. 11. We had two go in the second, two in the fourth, two in the fifth, and two in the seventh. This might be the most goaded draft class in NCAA football history. So we sim ahead through season 11. And for the first time in seven seasons, the Grambling State Tigers lost a game, a 22-21 season opener against Oklahoma State. But they finished the season 10-1 and, and still ranked number one in the country, headed back to another championship where they'll take on 12-1 Texas. And for the seventh year in a row, Grambling State is your national champion, winning in convincing fashion. 59 to 17. So we jump to the offseason to take a look at the players heading to the league. Some players you might recognize. We got wideouts Mike Jones and Brad Thomas, tight end Sheldon Hicks, and linebacker Brian Chase. 
Season 12 was another dominant year for GSU. They went undefeated, number one in the country, and we make it back to another national championship, taking on USC. And hey, guess what? You can add another trophy to the case. Unreal. Eight in a row. And it's another stacked class headed to the NFL, including linebacker Cedric Turner and corner Tony Hardy. So I stopped the seven right there because eight national championships in a row is just incredible, man. It's been one heck of a ride for this team. I remember when I started this series, I never thought I would reach as many people as it did. As of right now, this is the most watched series on my channel. And I've got to thank each and every one of you for making this series so amazing. Uh, as of right now, I've taken a step back from NCAA Football 14, but I'm not done with it by any means. Uh, I'm thinking by the end of the summer, I might bring something back. I have a creative team that I've downloaded and I'm working on graphics with an artist and a logo, but it's going to be hard to follow up this GSU Dynasty, man. It's been one of my favorite projects that I've worked on and to put a bow on this series right now seems so unreal. But thank you guys so much for nine great seasons. If you enjoyed any video, any game, leave it down in the comments, man. Let me know what you guys thought about the series. And make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget to ring that bell. Join the Noti Squad. And make sure you follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and IG. Thank you guys so much again. GSU, I hope I did you guys proud, man. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.